Hi fellas, and now we have the Debolt, the Smox, Rotary Hammer Drill on my table, and it's a nice powerful model for the good work on the construction side. And the problem is when I turn this on, it's just a service light, the red light blinking, I don't know if you can see it. Yep, now yeah, you really can see it. Yeah, and the service light is blinking, the carbon brush light is showing that is everything good. So the service mean we need to make a service for it. Yep, of course we will deassemble it to check it. First of all, I will start from the bottom cover here because I want to check the carbon brushes. Take the box for the screws. Yep. Opening the cover, and what can we see here? We can see the carbon brushes. Of course, we can disconnect them. Yep, and normally with this carbon brush the tool must work, of course, we will replace it if you will repair the tool. And the second brush here with the wire for the auto stop function. Yep, it's the same length. Now we can see that the mechanically the armature is spinning around. Okay, there is the hammering mode. I'll try to change the mode here. Yeah, it's but it's it's really really spinning very easily. Yep, I'll do the shoes for the housing. Screw the screw for the winding. Nope. Yep, and I will try to hold the winding like that and and screw the screw with the hand. Cannot get it out. Wow, no. Yep, maybe we will go without that. We will check because I cannot unscrew it. I will remove the handle. Uh, six screws holding the handle. And yep, we have the the cord here. We can test it of course. See the rubber here. Yeah, I think I will be able to test it here. It's a switch here, so it does a switch. But normally, I think it will work because the 
light is blinking. Yeah, it was here and it was here, so it's good. The cord and the switch is good. Now we know that the uh, two parts of this tool is good. Yep. Now we can see the screws here. You can see the screws on the top. I will go on the top first. Up. Now I will unscrew the screws here to take out this housing, the aluminium housing. And yep, I will try to remove it gently. Second one, yep, and we'll still be needed to unscrew the winding here to get to the armature. Yep, and now we need to think about the best way we can do it. And I will try to hold it somehow with the pliers, I think. help to hold it and I will unscrew it okay just got it out and yeah it was not easy now removing the winding and we have the four screws here I will unscrew them and one screw here Got it out. And yep, it's it's a cover here and the screws is somewhere inside. one yep just got it out and yep maybe we can do that without removing the winding yep the armature looks fine it's really strange yep and just getting the screws out. This one, but I want to remove it to check it. If I could remember some shine out there, maybe not for this model. 
no, not for this model. Yep, and uh, oil inside. Really looks bad. It's uh, dirt here. The oil itself is all black. And okay, the ball bearing is done. Almost done. This gear looks good. It's amateur gear. Yep. The armature can move up and down here. And what we have? We have the connector here. We have the controller unit. And what I'm interested in is why why the service light is blinking. Disconnected. We have this connector. Okay. We need to inspect the armature. That looks good, of course. The winding for me looks funny. Yep, now we have the wires for the for the motor. This is the photo stuff, stuff function. Okay. And what can we try to make now? We can try to check the field. Just don't forget the black one was here, the white one here. You can write that with a marker if you can find any here. Okay. The white one and the black one yep now we will take the multi multimeter and first thing what we will check is that uh, if we have good field yeah, oh, probably it has a loose contact here I think it will be here. Yep, it's not holding here. I'll cut it out. Yep, it's so no wire here. And the second thing is here. Yep. And it's a problem why the tool is not working. I think it's it's a really this problem that the wire here come loose and broke. I try to clean it. And for this one we have two options we can yeah, not it was repaired some time ago and uh, we have two options we can replace all the field to get a new wires or we can solder it what I don't like I don't like that the wire the default put here it's a solid and of course it will last shorter than than flexible wire yep and now we will get inside the hammering part of this tool. I will just put some parts in the box. This ones are going in the box. The box. Yep, because we need a more space here.
and yep yeah. now we have the hammering parts you can inspect the tool holder from here it looks good and we have the four screws here and I think the allen key will help here Just to release the bolt, and now we can take it to the drill. And what we have here, of course, the old grease. Yep. Just getting it out. Okay, the hammer got it out. And now we need to inspect the striker here. We have the oil seal. It looks good, but the o-ring is just a flat, so we need to replace it. If I will put it here, this part, just check the o-ring and check if it's not cracked. It's not cracked. It's just a o-ring and the flat washers, two of the flat washers. Okay, the gear, inspect the teeth of the gear. They look good. And now we have the striker itself. Of course, we will change the o ring for this one. And the spring. And yep, we have the piston inside it. We will open it. Here we have the part which we can remove. You don't want to get out. Yep, got it out. The plate, the connection rod, and it's a cylinder out here. I will try to take it out. Okay. It's uh, not very easy. And I don't want to damage it. Of course. I will try to slightly knock it out. not getting it out <coughs> yeah got it out and it's it holds here only on a two o-rings and of course now they need to be replaced when you remove them 
in the cylinder. And what I want to check here is the connection rod and the and the o-ring of it. Of course, it's getting flattened. They want to see it from the cracks or something to not get a connection rod broken after the repair. Yep, and okay, we can remove the the gear here and we need to check it if it looks good. Yep, now it looks good. And of course we need to make a good clean of this part of all this tool and uh, yep uh, as you can see the tool have a lot of old grease here and uh, I don't know if it's old or it's a bad grease because it's really really strange uh, and yep uh, we need a repair the field contact or replace the field I think I will replace the field because I see that someone was Repair it and it still failed and I think it will be better to replace it with new one and of course we need the uh, o-rings and, uh, and the new grease for this one and it will be a good working tool again uh, yep fellas uh, for now just thank you for watching I hope I will be back with a similar video of this tool and yep really thank you for watching bye